Hi and welcome to this QuickBooks training video. This is number seven in a series of QuickBooks training videos on using the inventory feature in QuickBooks. Specifically this video we're going to look at assembly type items in QuickBooks. Now assembly type items are a premier level uh, product feature so you can create and build assembly type items in a version of QuickBooks Premier or QuickBooks Enterprise Solutions but why you can uh, purchase already assembled or sell these types of items in QuickBooks Pro you cannot create or build them so really to make this feature work you're going to need a premier level of QuickBooks or QuickBooks Enterprise Solutions let's take a look in this sample file at the assembly item that has already been created and at the bottom of our inventory part type items you will see the inventory assembly type items There's only one I'm going to right click on that and edit that so that we can take a look at the setup now a lot of this is the same as it would be for a, a regular inventory part type item we're going to name the item uh, we could have units of measure which we talked about in the last video uh, we'll need a cost of goods sold account um, a sales account um, an inventory asset account those kinds of things we would set up in any inventory part type item the thing that's really different is this bill of materials right here and what this section of the window does is it tells QuickBooks when we create or build an assembly type item these are the components that should come out of inventory in order to become part of this assembly item so this assembly item is an interior door kit that means they're going to take the door and the hinges the doorknob and the frame that the door sits in all of those indiv individual pieces will come out of inventory and will become part of the inventory assembly now we can see on our list here as we read across this line that we have zero of these on hand so let's create some it's a simple process in QuickBooks. We will go to the Vendors pull-down menu, Inventory Activities, and Build Assemblies. We will choose the one assembly type item that we have. And QuickBooks gives us a little information, and that is that we have zero of these, okay. Uh, the bill point is five, so we've set this up to tell us on reports that whenever we get down to five, it's time to build some more of these. So we're at zero, so it's definitely time to make some more. Here is that bill of materials that we just looked at in the item list, telling us what items are going to go into the uh, finished assembly item. And in this column, how many of each are on hand? The one inventory item that is the lowest here, of course, is this interior frame, which is eight. And that's probably why our note down here says the maximum number you can build is eight. Well, it's because we only have eight frames. So let's build eight. All I do is put the number in there that I want to build. And when I leave that field, then QuickBooks tells me how many of each item are going to be needed. We're going to need eight. Um, doorknobs, we're going to need eight doors, we're going to need 24 brass hinges, and we're going to need eight frames. So if I'm happy with the date, then I will just click on build and close. Now, if I go back to my item list, here is the assembly item. We now have eight on hand. If we had noted before we went to build the item, we would have noted that there were 24 more brass hinges than there are now. Those have been pulled out of inventory. So that's done when the build occurs. So we don't have 472 of those hinges to sell anymore. We only have 448. That's the difference between an assembly item and a group item. A group item, we're just selling the individual items all at the same time in the same group on an invoice. An assembly item, we actually take those individual components out of inventory and assemble them into a manufactured assembly type item. And they are no longer in inventory available to sale, but the assembly uh, item is. That just 
you know, at this point, we can sell that as we can any other inventory item. Um, that's a very brief overview, kind of giving you an idea of what the assembly type item in QuickBooks will do for you. If you have things that you do assemble, you want to take a look at this feature. And by using these procedures that we've looked at here, you can make that work for you. I should note one other thing. If you want to get sophisticated about this, you can add, besides inventory type items, you can add service type items to QuickBooks. So you could actually credit on your profit and loss statement cost of labor and overhead, and you could add that to the cost of the assembly items that you have basically moving expenses from expenses and into inventory if you're doing a lot of that. Like I said, that's a little bit more sophisticated. You can certainly do that. People do. Uh, this was just a brief overview of how the feature works. I hope that's helpful to you and kind of gets you started on this if that's going to be useful to you. We have a number of QuickBooks training videos available at www.tracycpa.com. I hope you'll come by and take a look at those. And thanks for watching.